Hello everybody, this is Eric D. Kirk for MamaWorld.com and in this tutorial I'll show you how to create grids in After Effects with the extension Grid Guide. Grid Guide supports three different kinds of grids. Single lines or crosshairs, bounded grids, and infinite grids. For all three of them, you can also create variants that consist of only horizontal or only vertical lines. Let's start with the infinite grids. When we click on the button, Grid Guide creates a shape layer for us that contains the grid. In the effect properties of the grid layer, you can modify all its properties. The distance of the lines can be controlled with the cell width and cell height properties. If you enable the square grid option, the cell height is ignored so that you always have a square grid. You can also add a gutter to your grid cells using these controls here. Sometimes it's inconvenient to control the cell width in pixels and you would rather want to specify it by the number of grid cells. This can be done with a bounded grid. So let's make our existing grid invisible and create a new bounded grid using this button. As you can see the default is a 3x3 three three grid but you can easily change it using the cells per row and cells per column parameters. This grid is called bounded since its outline can be controlled using these control points to the upper left and lower right corner of the grid. Alternatively, you can control the grid size with a margin that is calculated relatively to the two corner points of the grid. In the appearance section, you can control the color, opacity, and stroke width of the grid lines. Let's make it a bit more visible for now. In contrast to the bounded grid, the infinite grid has no corner points. If we rotate the grid or scale, you can see that it is truly infinite. Note that since the grid is a normal layer, you can animate it with the normal transform properties or even parent it to other layers so that it follows your animation. Of course, all properties can also be keyframed. This button creates individual lines or crosshairs. This allows you to create very specific custom grids manually. If you also want to know how to convert your grids to native After Effects guides that you can snap interactively, I am looking forward to seeing you in the next tutorial of this series. This is Eric D. Kirk, and I'll see you in Part 3.